the first time actually talking to you today. I showed you some clips of what I got up to yesterday, but today it's Friday. Happy Friday. Um, what have I gotten into so far today? I had my daily stand up typically, and then I have like a quick, like ad hoc, um, Slack huddle with some of my team members, product manager and developers. I just had a call with a brand. Let me get my coffee. I just had a call with a brand that I'm working with on um, just like videos, like upcoming video ideas. And they're not for my channel, they're for their channel. Yeah. With that, when it's like not on my channel, I'm like, how, how much do I give? You know, <laughs> do they, obviously they're reaching out to me because they like, like the videos and they, you know, get down with me over here. Um, so it's like, obviously they kind of want me to bring some of that personality, but it's always like, I want just too much. I don't know the vibe. Pretty much all the meetings that I have today, I still have a little bit of work. Um, quite a, actually kind of a lot of work. And my next week is pretty short. I'm going on a trip Thursday, I'm leaving Thursday morning for a trip. Short, like long weekend trip from Thursday to Sunday. So it's like, I've got a short work week. I've got a short week to get like, UGC and YouTube stuff done. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go to a coffee shop later, even though I literally just made myself a very full drink. Um, just to kind of like get out of the house. Plus it's Friday and there is this cute little store that I kind of want to swing through. So we'll see if I do that. Usually like Monday is my super lazy day. Like I don't want to leave the house. I'm in sweats. It's nothing. Friday comes around and I'm like, you know, let me do my hair. Let me like, you know, start to feel good, look good and kind of roll into the weekend. So yeah, that is on the agenda for today. I will take you guys along with me for all of that and you'll see what I get up to. Uh, when you make a coffee that's good, it hits, it really hits. This one is, you know, you guys have seen my espresso machine, but this one, this Stormio, if you are needing a caffeine pickup, if you're needing a caffeine hit, this is the one that I totally recommend. Definitely am relying on coffee. So that's why I'll get another one later. Um, so just wanted to share that with you guys. Before we head out, I did want to share with you guys some new pieces that I just got in from Ana Luisa that I can't wait to share with you guys. Okay. This one is the Darcy ring. Let me get closer for you. And this one is the Celine. Love this one, guys. I love it. The earrings are the Harley Pave. There's a couple different Harleys. This one just has like the stones on it, the jewels on it that kind of go with the rings. So, you know, the method to this and my selection of things. So yesterday, guys, I went to, it was kind of a scramble. I had a dentist appointment and then I went into the office. I walked from the dentist appointment to, to the office. Those are the kind of clips that you saw earlier. Guys, I was like rushing to get out the door. I was not wearing earrings or any jewelry yesterday. I felt so naked. I felt so naked and I was like, I don't like this. And I'm so mad because like, especially these earrings that I'm wearing right now and I'll show you the close up as I'm talking. Um, these earrings that I'm wearing right now are so light and so delicate and they've got like a little bit of a glitz and a shimmer to it, but the perfect earring, have in your go bag. I felt like I needed an emergency earring <laughs> situation. So. This packaging is 100% recyclable and recycled materials, which I love. So it's a great thing to slip in my bag. I never forget my earrings ever again. Does not tarnish, resists humidity, really just crafted to last you a long time. Like I have not replaced any of my Anna Luisa pieces. I've had them for months. And guys, you know me, I wear jewelry every single day, which is why I was panicking yesterday. They have prices starting as low as $39. So you're not gonna like break the bank just trying to like get a couple pieces for yourself. I'll leave a link for you guys down in my description box below. That'll get you 20% off your order. Let me know what you guys get. I'm always curious to see. They have so much stuff to choose from. So let me know what you guys get because I always want to compare. I'm like, ooh, do I like that? Do you recommend this? So let me know. Check out the link down below for 20% off and let me know what you guys get. Uh, sorry, I should have cleaned this mirror before I did this, but very quick outfit of the day. I just changed from my white shirt because I got coffee on it into my favorite comfy Whitney Houston tee, biker shorts are from Lululemon. Yeah, I'm going to put on some sneakers and I'm actually going to bike over. So yeah, let's go do that. I am back. I'm 
the coffee shop. I get too much footage in there, just a little bit, just because I feel like I'm still kind of figuring out filming in public and sometimes it's a little weird, but coffee shop was good. It's like a coffee shop and bookstore. I don't know. They have books, mainly like used books and some popular titles, but it's super, super small. And I'm so sad because there was another bookstore on the same street and it was a book bar. Like they also served wine and alcohol and loved that place. So I just went here, got some really good coffee, did a little bit of work. I got a lot of work done actually, which is good. I didn't go to this cute little store that I always go to Inspire. I love that store, but I restrained myself because I'm like, I don't need anything else. I don't need any more clothes. Plus they have a sale in a few days. So I'm like, I can hold off. I can hold off. I'm probably going to take Poe take Poe on a walk just because we're going to a Rockies game later tonight and I just want to you know make sure he's got some exercise and yeah I'll probably do that and then come back finish a little bit of work and I'm just checking the time finish a little bit of work and then go from there and then I'll be kind of the end of my day <laughs> I went right by the window and it's starting to rain. It's a little loud, but I just wanted to include this really quickly. Um, I wanted to share with you guys what I'm reading currently because I love sharing that. Um, so I have started, barely started, Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. Let me know if you guys have read this because it's so hard for me to get into this. And I used to read a lot of like fantasy books, fantasy adventure books. I loved... Um, Ember and the Ashes, like that whole series by Sabah Tahir. I love that one. Um, but this one I'm like struggling to get into. And I feel like it's the initial world building that's kind of hard for me to like get into it. So if you guys recommend, I'm going to keep going at it because I, first of all, I love the cover. So I'm going to try. I'm going to keep trying. I'm reading so many books, guys. And I didn't even get a new book this month on Book of the Month. I'm also reading. I've got my Kindle here. I have also have checked out through Libby um you with a view by jessica joyce i saw it on instagram seems like a cute read thick i heard this recommended on my favorite podcast a series of essays kind of about like womanhood and body image and things like that that i feel like would be really interesting so i'm excited to read that i just have to start i'm getting distracted there's so much happening um i also have best served hot another cute read which also struggling struggling to even get started with it guys going on a trip in next week um it's a short plane ride we're going to california but i'm hoping that i can get through two books in that weekend i'm hoping i'm hoping um and then i'm also reading eat that frog i also heard this recommended kind of like a productivity book we'll give you guys an update on how i land not to mention my friend and neighbor just gave me these four books we did a book swap great more for me to read like i can't even believe i haven't read this yet i cannot wait to start this I have not actually read any Chris and Hannah. I'm, this is, God, this book is thick. Guys, this is 545 pages. Here we go, here we go. I'm not a Colleen Hoover girly. I'm not like, I don't, I get the hype, but I, it doesn't hype me up. Do you know what I mean? So I guess we'll see. And then this one, I haven't even heard of this one. So I'm excited to read this. I've got so much to read, I'm excited want to share with you guys what I'm reading. Let me know what you guys are reading too. I love recommendations. Let me know any thoughts on any of these books I talked about. Do I read it? Do I skip it? Let me know. Okay guys, that is it for me. Thank you for coming along with me these past couple days, two days, just to see what I get up to. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa in the description box. There'll be a link that'll get you 20% off your order. So make sure you check that out. If you guys like this kind of video, check out this playlist here where I've got tons of day in the life content so you guys can see what I get up to. See you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,